Welcome to this walkthrough for East West Hollywood Orchestrator. In this video, we'll show you how to work with Hollywood Orchestrator and how to compose full scale orchestral music within a very short period of time. Here's a short example to give you a first impression on how easy it is to create complex orchestral arrangements by playing only a few simple chords. Hollywood Orchestrator uses the complete sample content of Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition and combines these patches into play-ready orchestral arrangements in the style of Hollywood's greatest composers. As you open the Orchestrator, you'll find slots for all orchestral instruments, divided into four sections. Woodwinds, brass, percussion, and strings. For each instrument, you can choose the articulation that you need and load it into the slot. The placement of the instruments in each section is always from top to bottom. In the winds, it's flutes, oboe or English horn, clarinet, and bassoons. For brass, it's French horn, trumpet, trombones, and tuba. For percussion, you can assign timpani, all possible percussion instruments, and harp individually. And for the strings, it's violin 1, violin 2, violas, cellos, and basses. It's exactly as it is in a typical orchestral score. Let's open the preset browser. Here you'll find the main preset categories, ensembles, ostinatos, scores, and the user category. Hollywood Orchestrator offers three different kinds of orchestral presets. Ensemble is your tool to play articulations with a wide brush. It's simple, but totally helpful. You can choose a section from the categories, then a preset with any articulation. What you get is a rich ensemble sound with each chord note assigned to the best possible place in the ensemble. The ensemble articulations are the best time saver to create full orchestral arrangements in no time. Let's listen to a few examples. Ostinato offers you rhythmic orchestral patterns in different feels in meters. These are very helpful for creating pulses and tension and an action feel. You can even create subtle melodic motion by changing notes. Our engine transforms your note input immediately and applies it in the arrangement. But listen for yourself.
score is the most complex category. We spent a lot of time to rebuild the best typical Hollywood orchestrations and turn them into playable orchestral presets. You'll find a wide variety of complex orchestrations that'll inspire you and be incredibly fun. Let's try out a few of them. So, by the way, you can mute and unmute each section with the assigned key switches. Let's try this with our preset and listen to the separate sections alone and in different combinations. In the user category, you can save the presets that you created yourself. You can either make changes on an existing preset and save it here, or create a new preset on your own. In this case, you can load the empty preset and create something completely new from scratch. We'll come to that later. All in all, we offer more than 500 presets for you to play with. But before we check them all out, it's important to tell you how to use them. Let's open the preset Strings Sustain 4 from the Ensemble category. The first thing to get the best results is to learn how to play with our presets in the best way. Use your right hand to press and hold chords. Let's start with a simple A minor chord in closed position. And use your left hand to control the dynamic range with your mod wheel. Now play a chord progression with the right hand and control the dynamics with the left hand at the same time. Did you notice how rich and wide this sounded even if we just played a simple chord progression in closed position? That's what our engine does for you. You can assign each specific chord note to any instrument and in any octave and create arranger modes exactly as a professional orchestrator would do. 
As you already know, you can just load instruments into the suitable slots and build your own ensemble presets. Let's load a string ensemble. In the arranger mode, you can assign their note positions to specific instruments. Let's arrange the strings in the common way and assign the lowest note to cellos and basses only. Even if you play a three note chord, they'll only play with the root note now. Let's move the root note down to their best sounding range. The other chord notes can be assigned individually to violins and violas. Let's give the lowest note to the first violins, but with a higher octave. Second violin gets the top note. Violas often fill with chord notes, that's why I choose sustain for them. I'll give them two middle notes. All right, let's play something. So while you're playing simple chords with closed voicings, the engine turns them into enriched string arrangements with every chord note in a suitable place and instrument range. Let's change the arrangement slightly. We're moving the cello to the middle note and to a higher octave to make it the lead legato instrument in our arrangement. Let's play A minor again. The cello is now playing the middle note of the chord and nothing else, and it stands out in the arrangement because it plays in a higher range now. Let's save the preset now in our user category. Just type a name here and press the save button. Done. If you don't want to keep a preset, you can of course delete it here. By the way, if you don't have the time to create presets all by yourself, just choose one of the 500 presets that we've pre-designed for you. The MIDI editor enables you to create animated orchestrations all by yourself. You can program simple rhythmic patterns, complex arpeggios, or even melodic motion. By mixing different techniques together, you can design complex orchestral arrangements. Let's give it a try and create something. We load an empty preset and load a few instruments into the string section. We assign the notes in arranger mode to get nice voicings. Now we activate the engine for all high strings and open the media editor on the first violin's instrument slot. Okay, I'll choose only one bar as the length to keep it simple for now. I'm choosing the triplets as the grid to enter the MIDI notes. Use the pencil and we're ready to enter a few notes. So we already have a really nice arpeggio that's following the notes that you press on your keyboard. The cellos and basses have sustain, so they're already playing the root note. Now let's copy the arpeggio onto the other string slots. As you'll notice, the other high string instruments will play the same arpeggio but starting on their assigned notes, so you'll get a full and nice chord arpeggio. Let's try a few things that we can experiment with. Change the voicing by experimenting with the octave ranges. Change articulations to give new functions to specific instruments. Maybe we try to make the cello work as a lead instrument by assigning the top note to it. Mm -hmm. 
And now we're making a few volume adjustments. On the mixer page, you can adjust the volume, panning, and reverb send of all instruments to adjust the balance of the orchestra. With the equalizer and reverb, you can polish the overall sound to your desire. Now we've learned how Hollywood Orchestrator works. So be sure to check out all the presets and enjoy the variety and inspiration that you get just by opening presets and playing around a bit. It's a ton of fun. Stay tuned for additional walkthroughs on Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition and the Opus Engine. In a future walkthrough, we'll be exploring how to build a whole composition using Hollywood Orchestrator. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.